Mon has it. Melee can go back in. Come on, push the damage. Come on. 50 seconds. 45 seconds, guys. Push it. Uh, plenty of time. Not over till it's over. Melee out. No, don't run out. Don't run out. Kill it. 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 We're don't good. run out. Kill it. Get this man! Yo, chill out, John. GG! <laughs> <laughs> We made it. Uh, yeah, 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 we killed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bitch. Holy shit, we killed. Hogger. Missions blazing. Yeah, oh, that was the only fuck it, man. I, took I need it. Oh shit! It's an easy clap. It's an easy clap. And Druid. Head down for loot. Me. That's this threat weapon, man. I he class Oh my god, Onslaught Girl. That's this for tanking threat, too. Holy fuck. I'm upset. I gotta get one of that. I'm gonna try to get one of this. What's that, bro? Amazing for tank. I wouldn't replace either of them. Fire pants. <laughs> Until Thunder Fury. Onslaught Girl. Right. place for tank. Shit, Perdition's Blade. Okay, wow. let's do the Mage Pants first. T2 Pants. Bimmy is plus, Clad 2 is oh plus. Oh my god. We can actually Black advertise is 10 out of Black 10. Is plus. Olean has the highest. Full clear one night. And no plus. That was such a clean kill, too. I think Guy Thank Strix you. already died. My taunt didn't get resisted. So. Okay. Congrats. Congrats, Root out of the pants. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I want the hex. I think it's better than mine. <laughs> I hope calling out Alex, who was you currently want this, You want out. this, right? Yeah. Dude, okay. like, I can feel his uh, eyes bulging uh, out of his head. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't care what any oh, other rogue rolls on this fucking Alex in this shit. <laughs> Three, dude! <laughs> Holy oh. shit, dude. He's top rogue. No, it's not. Isn't Corhound top tank? Well, I thought Corhound with the mage leather, yeah. Okay, he's not the puggy. I, I think it's only fair puggy. that, like, you know, at least it's the rogues get a chance to roll on it. I mean, otherwise I, it looks like nepotism. I mean, the rogues. Yeah, I mean, the rogues roll, but I mean, since we're doing low council, I mean, Aris is fucking beating every other rogue for days. I think it's only fair that he gets the blade. <laughs> Like, I... no, the only other rogue that is putting a flame to him the whole run is Duke-S. I don't disagree is, with that, is but that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, classic. just so it looks completely fair, I think it's fair uh, oh, that we let them roll. Blade? Well, I mean, that's why we're here doing a little council, though, to talk uh, about Unless you're an orc, then an axe is better. I just, I'm yeah, not well, trying well, to get people the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. He's the same for appearances or yeah, I mean, I, I got them all in all. I completely so. agree, like, dude. It's also I mean, I'm, 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 look, I'm looking, like, I'm looking through to look at the other rogues, but it's just like, yeah. Olin, do you have any disagreement with that? Um, I mean, I think we're going with the rolls, right? Yeah, I had the big... All I know is uh, Liv lost a piece narrowly earlier. He's like, I don't think he's won anything. All, all... I know Arise is like, right, he's most deserving. So with you guys are like holding that Predation's Blade but, hostage. Just give it know. to the guy that won it. I don't want John. Well, really. it's plus one. Well, yeah, but he's Zilv a... is also a sword rogue. That's, no, that's what I mean. Like, he's go to the guy who won it. That oh, yeah, I mean, he would respect in a heartbeat, right? But, I mean, it wouldn't be optimal. That's, oh my god. Everything gets bent to Arise. Give it to the Am guy that was in the guild that helped us kill I mean, this. I can ask him. I'm sure okay. he would say I'd respect. I mean, isn't he, like, We're he's literally got carrot with a stick on right now? To like, on I don't know. Okay, let's like, do the belt real quick. We'll go back. I mean, I'm pretty sure belt is going to go to infill. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, his liv is in fucking green, so... Damn. This, yeah, I mean, that's good for tanks, what too. What tier right? dropped? Or was there no tier? 
Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's good for DPS warriors yeah, just as well. I mean, this is all around one. Like, seriously. I don't know what Angry Monkey's weapons are, but the only two rogues right now that are dagger spec are Dirk and are... I mean, rogues don't have an off spec, right? You just go with what your weapons are. You spec into daggers. They're spec into daggers, spec into swords. Yeah, but just because uh, you have aware. a... Well, I'm just saying, though, like, just because he has a perdition blade doesn't mean that you would go dagger. It'd be like... You know, it's like... You know, I don't know. Uh, well, we're doing the belt, though, first. We'll we can talk about dagger here. Sure. I mean, I asked him. He said he would. He said he wants to go daggers anyways. But it's all about the funnel, you know? It's a bottleneck to get the right piece. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So on the belt, we have infill. So infill is highest roll, but Jaman is not plus, and neither is Zar. Or is Zar plus. Did we give Zar a tier piece? Or was it Chris? No, we gave Chris a tier piece. But Jamon is John is main tank and raider over his... Yeah. That yeah, that was just to give fire resist. Okay. Um Infill is plus one, Geyser's plus two, Jamon and Zar are Jamon and Zar are not pluses. But Jamon is, uh, Jamon is main tank, and Zar's new. So I'm gonna give that to I'm gonna give that to Jamon. Yeah. Yeah. Tanks do not replace this. Is that correct? Rag is okay. essentially BWL. Gear. No spec of warrior replaces that dual max. Okay. We could roll the. We'll roll these BOEs. Why did I get it? Uh, I didn't win the roll. After. Okay, so. Yeah, but the other guy won. Uh, the roll. Okay, so this is the argument that I'm going to make for the dagger. So, okay. other than. Okay, so this is the argument I'm going to make for the dagger. Other than Alec already being a dagger rogue, Alec or Reese oh, has been top pretty much all night. And. In the sense of funneling gear, if we're going to be running this consistently as a group to gear everybody, like, you know, if we're all going to be running, like, next week and future on, just so we could yeah. have good clears, I think that is in best interest to give it to a Reese first. That, that will never get And then if your rogue wants to be a dagger rogue, classes. once he has daggers, I think that's fair. But we already have two rogues that are, like, into daggers heavy. Because yeah. some, you know, because some rogues will want, you know, some rogues eventually will go daggers once they get daggers, but some don't do that for quite a long time, maybe not even BWL. So, if so he here's... really wants to be daggers, that's what I would say. I mean, you know, I'll let yeah. you say whatever you want to say. So, I think, I mean, I'm no expert, but I think the way it goes is most rogues play swords until they get the right daggers, and the end goal is kind of daggers because the best weapons are daggers, right? No, uh, sword I would is actually marginal. Sword better. is sword, sword is, is best in slot until until nag. Yeah. Okay. By by quite a long shot until nag. But it's, it's similar to like warrior insofar as the weapons you have kind of determine what you can do, right? The the only reason, yeah, it, it really is. But the uh, the only reason that you go uh, dagger on rogues is like to avoid loot competition, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. So all I know is you know live wants the item. We didn't so, call reserves. And perdition is in bis. Uh, perdition is bis for dagger rogues specifically, right? So like. Correct. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we should give it to a Reese. I mean, the damage done does speak for itself, and you know we're oh, gonna be no. doing this next week, and then like honestly, no. this 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 run was smooth as butter. So. Very good first run, clearing it all in one night. Also, this dagger is unique, so 
I think that they, or they're agreeing with it. At least I, uh, on my end of my guild, I mean, Dirk <laughs> okay, has been then. here I mean, for a I couple weeks, okay but he's it. still a trial, not a raider. Now, I'm curious how he'll I would have no problem uh, giving this shit. to your rogue if it drops. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, that makes sense, dude. A I mean, that's the big end, the fight, you know what I mean? But... Well, the next time it drops, I would have no problem doing that. I, gu I guess my problem is... Are you talking to is... me or Olin? It's just funny to me that he's talking to me. I'm talking to him over the The role. problem oh, well, is that we didn't, we didn't define ahead of time. And so, right, if it's a, not a very important item, then there shouldn't be this kind of, like, oh, we're going to, like, redefine... Well, what the rules are at this point, I, I, right? I'm, I, I'm not redefining the rules, but I mean, you're the guild master of your guild. I think that if we keep running this continually, it makes sense to funnel, as even you said yourself, to our top damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I don't disagree with that methodology, but I do think that's actually a different way to loot than what we agreed on, is my point. And since we called it a plus one raid, I think we got to stick by the rules that we made. And I also think that me and my guys pulled our weight, you know. I don't think your row, any of your, no rogue pulled anywhere close to a reason. I mean, Duck does, man. He's top two, top three every fight. And I Angry mean, Monkey was the second best rogue behind him. Yeah, I mean, but Sylv doesn't even put a flame. I mean, that's. I'm not arguing with his performance, yeah. but I know that he's also way less geared, so. I mean, I'm just saying, Which he won the role, we called the loot system plus one. Perdition blade. Like, why, I just, why would you give somebody that's completely undergeared? I, uh, I think that's fine, but I came in here with greens, you know what I mean? This is Molten Core, this isn't like Mythic rating where you need to, it's so tightly tuned that you have to like min-max gear. Okay, so I, I think... I think I can agree with what he's saying, and just the fact that we were able to fly through this at the speed we did, and, you know, it it's, seems to be pretty accurate we'll be able to do this again. And we uh, did say this I'm was gonna, a plus one raid. I'm going to roll so, these bracers first. Both arguments are, are pretty valid. That is really freaking good. This guy has plus one, so I'm gonna go to bin. I mean, I mean on the matter, we, I think we should let both uh, dagger rogues roll for it. Because you know, they came to play daggers, and I mean it's one and one, and it's like you know Arisa is by far the best rogue, but we did make rules, and I don't so want to have bad standing with these guys. Seriously. We blew through it tonight, you know. Yeah, no, I mean that's like the it doesn't have to do with how well or how badly we in phase one that you'll never. Yeah, no, I, about, you guys, we have, I think you guys, I think having a nice group. Yeah, to me it's about just maintaining our integrity as a group, right? Like earlier, we had uh, Frederick good. or whatever who kind of went off the deep end because he, you know, felt like he was gypped even though he wasn't. And Fro handled very, that really well. Very desirable. But well, a counterpoint case, there, there is that Frederick has been in multiple like, raids with us before they're, and they're has also like seen though. us reserve eyes previously, oh, like in previous weeks. They're saying on like private. I think that's fine. Like, I didn't know that. Ever I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not his first raid with us. Like I. And, yeah. and oh, well, he's been known oh, to man. troll a little bit too. I, I'm so. fine with the integrity of plus. I'm fine with the integrity of plus one, um, but I did say we would also come down and do loot. So I mean, like as I said, like if you really want to go upon that, that's fine. But we've been doing loot council the whole night, talking about pieces. You know, we talked about a piece earlier with the mace. So, pieces, so. here's here's hang so, on. Uh, so for, um, I I don't want to cut anybody off, but I'm just gonna say this. Although we have been doing loot council. The, the people who did come here today understood it as plus one. And if we, for some reason, make it make them think that they all of a sudden don't have the chance at the drops they came here for, it is not favorable. It looks bad. I got to agree. Yeah, sorry, and and the thing is, sorry, 
like we did talk about reserves and I'm actually completely 100% fine if in the future we just like state that and like but it has to be in advance right like if you're like hey a Reese gets the pred predictions blade I'm totally fine with that as long as we actually say it like you mentioned sulfurous that was the only item yeah. though well, I'm not. It, I, I'm not I'm I was not totally saying, fine with I, you I, getting yeah, it. I'm not, right? I'm not saying that it's reserved for a Reese. The only point that I'm trying to make is that its performance as a rogue is better than every other rogue. I, I, so I wasn't. I wasn't trying to say. How about we go midway on this? So, uh, so no, I, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm. All mean? I'm saying yeah. is we so, said. I, I forward, talked to you, Olden, yesterday, and I said we happening? wouldn't talk about performance. Like, we wouldn't give a piece of loot to somebody that was under the Are they upset about Hey, uh, just really quick, though, man. Group? Just loot it to yourself for the moment, because it could okay. despawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here's what I'm thinking. And I think this this is something we could adopt moving forward. Maybe each guild in each run is allowed to reserve a specific item that we know that someone on our side does deserve. That way, in the future, when situations like this arise we don't have to have this take as long as it does. As long as we discuss this and come to an agreement beforehand, we can kind of streamline these things. Is yeah. Dark Wars in your guild correct? Can you say yeah, that again? Yeah, he is. Yeah, okay. he is. Uh, he won the other bracer, so I'm just making sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I actually think, you know, if you still want to talk it over, I think what would be also fair would be to just grab Liv and bring... Aris into chat in here and just have them kind of talk it out like I'm cool if it's like a gentleman's thing you know yeah I mean I'm I, I'm fine with that as well um something that I would want to make more precedent going into next week is also performance though so you know I like I understand like you know filling up a raid with people but somebody that comes in here with greens compared to somebody that is already pre-bis that is something else as well like, I mean, like I said, nothing right. against Liv. You know, I'm happy he's here. He did well for what he has, but he's getting carried. There's so many people down there. In yeah, that I mean, chat you can make too. the same argument with me, though, man. I dinged 60 last week. But you're also I mean, a mage, though. Like, yeah, you're a mage. And... It's fair. It's fair. But, you know, I, I GM a casual guild, and, you know, we have players who are super duper good, and our heals, like, are top, and Dukkas is awesome. But, like, you know, we also have guys who are less sweaty. And I think it's, you know, I I just think that we need to stick with what we said loot-wise because it, it does it does cast a bad image if it's, like, all no, right. There, yeah, I agree. I just wanted to talk it over, you know. Yeah. I, I, I essentially... I, 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 I'm, I'm just advocating. I'm not saying I'm going to give it to a Reese because it's just in my inventory. I would never, I would never do that. You know, I stream the raid and everything. Sure, man. And you guys, I mean, everything was awesome. I, I thought the way you, like, you handled with Frederick, everything was fine. Like, you know, and we, this is a little bump. And I just want to make sure, because I know for a fact that Liv would be, like, devastated. Because he lost a bunch of roles earlier. And, like, you know, he was, like, typing all caps in chat when he won. So, like, um, you know, he's stoked and it would be crushing if he lost. Yeah. Uh, Zawaldo, are you rolling on that for main spec? Yeah, yeah. I you know I didn't win anything today, so I thought you know that that is an upgrade for me. So I'd roll on that. Okay. Uh, I need to see you equip it. What? Uh, Zawarla. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, okay, I see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pull him down and they can chat. So who are we, who are we pulling in here right now? This is Zil. Zil oh, and yeah, Reese are gonna is. have a chat. This is between them. We already made our arguments and things representative as gems <laughs> i mean i i agree that aries is you know, the best other, uh, rogue out of all of them the, uh, he's the most we, performing uh, and he's consistent in attendance i think we but... did them all 
our guild didn't win the role. And uh, we're split running with the other guild who hasn't won shit as far as I can tell. Heart stuff or is this stuff that we would the other guild didn't between guilds. get shit. I would take those uh, risks. Mine are green still. Okay, I'll put these up. Yeah, I know some warlocks want it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because if it, if, if it was just something that we would sell, then we could sell it and then split the money between the guilds. Uh, hey, Zill. Uh, can you hear us? Are you able to speak? Are you just muted right now, or can you speak? He can, he can type, I think. Okay. Um, uh, we wanted you to chat, uh, we wanted, uh, you and Alec, or Reese to chat about the, um, dagger. So... We already, you know, had our chats as GMs and officers of the different guilds about the ring and what we feel. I mean, about the dagger and what we feel. Um, but we wanted you in Here a comes talk the drama. about the dagger. Um, the points that we made were, Slip you know, is gonna get you're a sword rogue and not a dagger over. rogue currently. He's a dagger rogue and he's doing, you know, he did the best out of all the rogues. And we talked about our piece, but it's up to you guys since you won the dagger. We will be doing this, like, you know, for... Oh months. yeah, I won the role so on the bit. So it's up to you guys, but we'll let you guys talk about it. No, We're that's here cool. as mediators. Right. So like, my only point of contention, like I, I have is... no problem like passing the no, the dagger to like a like rogue rogues. that will no. consistently like benefit our guild. But like, sure. you are someone who showed up to raid in eight greens and one DPS trinket, Ooh. not two. I mean, I have no idea, like, what your commitment level is to this, like... All right, hold on. I'm just going to stop you right there. Look, I'm a 35-year-old man. I have three kids, dude. I just hit 60 last week. I'm working on it. My whole intention was to go daggers this whole time. So what my understanding was from our raid leader who talked to your raid or your guild leader, whatever, was that we're going to come in. If there's set pieces that can complete, then there's going to be, like, a soft loot council, whatever, and that's how it's going to be. Otherwise, we're just rolling it out. So I don't really understand the thing. Like, I get your daggers. And this I, is a soft loot council. Like, this right. is this is what you call a soft loot council right now. And, like, that is what we were discussing. Like, I mean, do you honestly feel with your performance tonight that you actually deserve that dagger? Like, even over someone else such as uh, Dukaz or Dirk Dirk? Do you genuine be genuinely believe that showing up to raid in eight greens and one DPS trinket is, like, deserving of literally the best weapon available like uh, potentially the second best mm -hmm. weapon available I can't to rogues talking in classic target is that a reese talking you guys invited me to the raid you've been seeing the whole night so i'm still in the raid so if you were going to kick me or something then that's a whole nother thing if that was an issue that's fine i tried to explain to you what happened why i'm here i mean I, I, I again this is a guild like not a charity like i understand oh. that you have real life complications right. and whatnot right. but like we we had a discussion before this raid even started that like performance was going to be like a factor <laughs> like i mean like that is a discussion that we had really with that your officer know. yesterday like and i mean whether or not he informed it's, you of that like, like i don't this know blaze, I, ever but, gonna drop I mean it. that is like very much a point of contention and like Look, to I show get it, up I get you, uh, I get you one, one second one second one but second but i want it fair and square that's all that's all uh, i'm gonna say I mean, I, i've rolled on stuff all night I mean, that's fine. You're gonna hang on. Since you're gonna bring me into it, here's what was told to me. Just so you know, yeah, I was told, "Hey, man, only once, maybe, maybe once, they've had to kick somebody for performance slash like dislute them, and it was because it was a priest who like refused to dispel. So I mean, that's pretty much a far cry from somebody who shows up, brings, consumes, did everything they were supposed to." But just because they have like a few less, you know. I mean, it just shows like a, a, a few. It's 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 over half of his gear, man. Like it is it is a well, gross at least we got our rag like, kill. Input. Totally like I understand you just recently hit taken 60, their loot. Like... I mean, you know that I just won another one pants, and I'm have like six. Wait, I mean, the, matter. My, my whole point is, we came here, we pulled our weight, we did this together, and we called it plus one beforehand. And so it doesn't make sense to suddenly change the rules. I mean, okay, we no, agreed to so, this so, Guys, just give me a second here. So this is how I feel this should go. 
both of you guys are raising truly valid points. And in reality, there's no reason for anybody to walk away slighted. I think there's only one fair way to do this. I mean, on both ends, it is accurate that you won your role. On the other end, Aris is an absolute monster man. I think you guys can tell me I'm wrong if you want. It's no problem. I think it is deserving that we have a roll off. And we is let it, the, the dice is decide. It, isn't that what we did when it dropped initially? Right. I'm just confused by that. They should just have a duel I, off. I, I'm, I'm honest question. I'm not trying to be like. <laughs> I think I'm dual it. I, I just think that. I go Thorn Arena to the death. Having. Ah, you're right. You're right. I, I, I think it's irrational to We're do that, show, honestly. Like, I think that we should make a genuinely informed decision. If if not me, then like literally Dirk Dirk because he has the plus five daggers gloves. Like I mean, like there are just so many other like way better choices to make like for the benefit of the raid than like to give it to someone gonna, that is uh, talking gonna... about how little time they have and in eight green showing up to raid. Like I just like I don't know. Like literally, so, I mean, you don't know anything about me. You don't know I, I could have ran these instances eight thousand times and got no drops, right? So I mean, I. I just, I just don't know what to say. I don't, I don't see what, I don't, I don't, I, I get what you're saying. This sounds pretty douchey, man. I know. It just seems like this has been such a great run. Everything went so smooth. If there were issues, like I get it, but it was, it was fine. A lot of the polls I was in the top 15 DPS, some polls I was obviously not. That's fine. I did die a lot. It's, it is what it is. That's probably because of my greens. I didn't have the health pool. Like I get all that. I'm just saying. I, I, don't, and, I, don't, I don't know what else to say on this. And to reiterate that I was told, right, if somebody's going to be disqualified for loot, it's because they're literally not doing their job or, like, causing the entire raid to fail. And that's not what he did. Raid. Yeah, he did his job, like, man. Pots today, like... <laughs> I mean... I, uh, I mean, I, like, again, like I said, like, I genuinely just, like you said, too, I don't know you. You know, it's it's literally just like a 50-50 whether or not giving you the dagger benefits the guild. And I don't, I personally would rather not have the dagger and, like, have it on someone who's been a consistent member, like Dirk Dirk, or, like, uh, literally, like, Myth, even, has been more consistent. Like, I mean, I don't know you, and, like, from what the performance tonight, like, I mean, I just, I mean, I don't know, like, that you're going to be a consistent like member, like I, I don't, I personally don't care. Like honestly, I'll let the officers decide because like I'm just a class lead. Like I don't care. He's with us, so we all came as a guild and we're packed. I mean, this well, he's, is he's part of our guild too, but he's our main raider and class lead. I'm just letting them talk. You know, I was I I just been quiet the whole time. I just been listening. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I but it I doesn't think, make sense to talk about consistency because this is literally our first run together as a pack. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like that's that's what I'm he's saying. Just, just like I don't feelings. know. Yeah. I don't just, know like yeah. how consistent this person is, and I don't know like I'm just making estimations based on like the apparent effort they've put into like getting to this raid, right? So like I mean, I don't I like I'm not going to comment on it any more than that. Like it's, it's literally just belaboring the point at this point. Um, I think that uh like there are just more rational informed decisions to be made than just like give it to the rogue and greens like i don't know what else to say other than that okay well thank you both for having a chat on that uh uh i need to talk to my other red leaders real quick and then i can talk to all of them sure man okay i pulled you guys down a gm chat oh fuck. oh man Every fiber in my body says, "Just give it to a Reese." It, like I, like All even. Right, I'm going to say biasly. I really, biasly, I, I would want it on a Reese. Biasly, but even Maybe like Dirk, Dirk, and then he, objectively, there's no way in hell that. But because like I would give that. To okay, so I don't, I don't think. So the thing is, is like even if we give it to him as a gesture of good faith, I think they're gonna say they don't want to run with us again next week. Yeah, I I don't think it like the relationship with the guild is worth giving a rogue in greens. I mean, like regardless, like, he seems like a nice guy. I get it, time constraints and all that stuff. But that's even that's just another mo reason to not yeah, give him the, blade exactly it's because he doesn't have the time and effort to put into that. And not on top of that, like they're already pissed off. 
do we really want to also piss off our guild members by giving that away too to a rogan green yeah i mean i i i can see their point like yeah i guess he he did win we did establish loot rolls but me personally but, but, but i, I, I also like i i streamed yesterday when we were talking when we are in our chat and i said to him that we would do we would come down here we would do a loot council so we could talk loot and we've been doing that the whole night it hasn't just been like this one piece is a point of contention i think slight slight miscommunication for this very specific scenario but like i i think arise is right we're just doing a whole lot of talking and i think the obvious like how uh, we feel I, about it i was asking you what you think about when this was killing here, rights because to be fun. Every fiber in my body says give it oh, to a Reese, but I want to be I want to be fair to these guys. But we did even talk yesterday in our chat. Ben was here. We talked about a soft loot council, and the thing is, is like giving uh, yeah, it to they, a Rogan and Greens, kind of, and then perfect. yeah, and and then also on top of it, like okay, so we we've talked our piece about all the things that we believe are right, but also even if we give them the dagger. I don't think they're going to run with us again after this. I think that they're just going to be pissed off. They're going to be they're they're going to cut their losses. I feel like, and I feel like we should cut our losses. I would never want a ninja piece, and I don't feel like this is ninjing since we talked about loot council. What is your thoughts on this? All righty. Hey, I was going to wait to see how this but played out like, before I went to I, bed. But... I'm done discussing it. My final vote is we. Doesn't we seem like it's it, going uh, anywhere. I get it's shitty, but that's my vote, and I I don't really see any other things to talk about it. It's shady, but it's just it's just too good to give it to. If they had a different rogue, like that was way more geared and was actually doing stuff, yeah, no, I get it, no, one hundred percent, want it, useful. Their guild is like if, us, like if, if, like if no Duke has this guy will even show up to the yeah room, like if Duke has, like if Duke has won the role I would have just gave it to him you know because he did perform almost as well as Reese Reese still performed way better than him but that would have been justifiable this just does not feel right at all And I think we, and I think, and the thing is, I think that we may lose a Reese if we don't give him the dagger. Like not, not immediate, not, not immediately, but I think it's gonna make he them salty. One hundred percent lose interest. I, there, I, he may not leave, but he will begin to not give a fuck. I can guarantee that. And the, and the, and that's the other thing. That's the other I'm thing going too. To bed. So, but now, like after this we'll whole scenario, we gotta also out. hope that they'll stick with us. Which, good chance that they will, but then yeah, then we also have to deal with the fact that we had to have this whole discussion and then still raid with each other on top of that. I think it's good that we had this scenario happen so we could talk and things sure. could be said a little bit more clearly. Like yeah. I don't, I want us to be able to raid still. I just my gut tells me that like i love having faith in people but knowing that the way he talked about casualness and he even said to himself i run a casual guild like they plan on going full force once bwl comes out and i mean that's great for them i don't think it's gonna work i, I mean them, but i mean when asked about it his argument wasn't even like i i'm doing this and this to solve the problem it was i'm 35 i have kids so i don't have the time And that's that's not because he's the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Do you do you do you think that do you think I, that it's ninja? That 100%. Do, do you think it's ninja since I clarified to his guild leader that we would be doing a soft loot council? Okay, I'm just I just want to make sure. I think that we are within our right considering it was a miscommunication and we like we did say that this would be like something that would happen but at the same time we did just kind of discuss it with them and all this so i would feel like it's kind of ninja -ing.
Fuck. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. well, yeah. I, I mean, I've even said when this guild started, we would have nepotism. I like, like Olin. Olin didn't say. Olin I mean, didn't say like, initially anything when I talked about giving it's the, just a testament the dagger to the race, past but once that one, we've trusted with best in slots who have ended up just not staying with the guild. Too. Yeah. Like, there's nothing in my body that screams that this guy is gonna fucking be here. Like, thirty-five mm -hmm. kids. Like, I get it. Like, you could have a commitment, and he might be here. But we're taking, you know, it's like Alex said, we're taking a risk on him. I'm going to pull Olin in, though, because we've been talking for a while. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm made, just... I've made my decision, too. Okay. I'm going to move you guys up. I'm going to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Couple. Uh, hey, Olin. Uh, were you in the... Here's what I was thinking. What if we, we essentially challenge the members in our guild to essentially do the best they can to benefit the guild? And then choose one of these people within them to decide who's allowed to reserve a single item they want. And if it doesn't drop, then, you know, it is what it is. Members something to aspire to and really try to push themselves forward to grab. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like other like other people in their guild. Yeah, um, one they get incentive are... to be uh, more helpful to the guild. This is a dagger, I would say, just give it to the fucking that, asshole, because you want Yeah, essentially, once, trade, once a week, M.C. resets, the the right? The, first the person that's done the most they could for the guild that week is given the option to reserve a singular item. Next week, that rotates. So if it drops or not is irrelevant, but this way it gives our guildmates something to, you know, want to work harder for. And yeah, we, we've definitely entertained the idea of something like that. But I don't know. It's kind of difficult to quantify, though, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, unless you had like, I mean, that's kind of. I wish I'd just been had, brought like, in one so they could have fucking given me a chance for the goddamn themselves, thing. But that's kind of unrealistic. Voting's I doubt many people kind of want, though. Yeah. Well, the only reason I bring something up like that is just because I think it would be a... not so much as unfair, but it would look quite bad if we just started saying. You know, this specific character is the one that's going to get the reserve over others. I mean, besides, like, main healers and main tanks. I think we Essentially, like, situations like this. More. Yeah, just next week, you got to be more clear about um, things. Like, I feel bad for Frederick because, uh, you know, the benediction, but... And oh, Fred, dude, I know Frederick? he came under fall. Yeah, he... I know he came under all pre pre pretenses, but as I just got to make sure like, everyone knows. Is there any way that I can give a message to just be fair with this? Like, holy fucking shit! It's, it's you guys have killed Rag. Just yeah, fucking I, kill I him again for your fucking dagger. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Let me ask so a question. If I if I won if I won the chest, would this be a similar conversation, or is it just because of this weapon? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's probably just this weapon because every single okay. guild is having this right. problem right now with yeah. That makes, me, that makes me feel a little bit better. Blade. Yeah, and, and it's, I, and, and it's I specifically get, I get because it's easier it, to but... gear swords than daggers early on. And if you choose daggers early on, you're choosing to have a DPS. So all rogues go swords, or most rogues go so swords only early on. Yeah, my vanilla rogue was daggers, and my whole intention was to go daggers. So obviously, I'm gonna roll on the best dagger in the game. For best in slot for, for what two dungeons, right? Yeah, until AQ. It's either AQ or Nax, I'm not fully sure. I don't pay attention much to rogue stuff. We also typically specify before raid for like swords and dagger rogues. I think we just forgot to do it this time too. Oh that's fine. I mean anybody well. Not that I guess it matters, but anybody in my guild will tell you we've been talking about it for months, so.
Okay. But I know it's it's getting late. It's the population so issue. Like, in, honestly, like, man, yo, I, didn't, really, I didn't realize. This is what I said. This is what I told him fucking weeks ago. With Fred Get the fucking player base. Reserve bait. that eye. So we uh I, yeah we I reserve. Didn't tell him that he's fucking. I mean, I don't I don't blame him for his anger, man. I think we've reserved no. I multiple like runs yeah. before, like all, almost every run that we've done before. I'm not I'm not sure like if we have. This had is one. this but is dude, only dude, the second I that we've ever had drop. Yeah, but we always but, say I is reserved, don't we? When we yeah, eyes and legendaries yeah. are always reserved. Yeah, so like in in and, and we definitely had Frederick in here before. Like, I mean, it's not like this is his first run with us. I mean, I I don't know. That's it seems questionable that that even came up. All right, but you're you're the Five. class leader of your guild. I don't know these things. You know, we're, when I'm talking to my guild. I don't have that knowledge. Yeah. It's not... uh, well, what what I'm saying is, is like I'm I'm shocked that like he is like bringing that up as a point of contention considering it's been reserved i mean no he's mad time. it's it's more like mad with me because uh, that i i clearly didn't understand that you know when i talked to elder it, that wasn't my understanding from the conversation so i guess it's my misunderstanding but... yeah i mean if he was playing healer like oh uh, to my understanding, the, the only reason why I knew is because I read officer chat in Discord. Yeah, um, to my understanding, we're, we're supposed to be kind of forming like Voltron to fill 40 raid progressions every time and make sure we can complete progress without having to depend on pugs. That that's um, So in, in that sense, we we should be playing on equal footing. Not, not that this is unequal. I'm not saying that, but we're kind of like in this together. Yo, fucking ferals use daggers and BF. Remember Burning Crusade, we gave a Warglaive to a Warrior for the first time, and ooh, the floor, forums went crazy. Where's Elder at? Uh, he's talking to Olean in the other chat. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Why is there a loot baby issue? This is fucking infuriating.
you know, saw you there. Okay, so I talked out with him, and he still feels as if, like, it, you know, he he said himself that he believes that they 100% would run with us again next week. It's And he's fine with the clarification of doing things, you know, more... Um, I, I'm saying strict. I didn't use this wording with him. But, like, doing things more strictly where it's like, you know, if somebody is in greens, they could come, but they would not be able to roll in high-ticket items. Um, he also would agree upon the factor of, you know, uh, like, I didn't disagree that he wasn't doing his weight for his gear. For his gear, he was doing fine, but he wasn't pulling his weight compared to all the other rogues. He wanted to argue that a bit, but I wasn't really going to argue that because, like, based on logs, not parses, like, actual just raw damage, you know, he's obviously not even close to most of the other rogues. Um... Um, and I told, like, he said to me, like, if we gave the dagger to a Reese, then they just wouldn't probably run with us anymore because they can't trust us. But at the same time, like, I really have the gut feeling that they're not going to come. I just don't think they will. After he talks to them and, like, you know, the way his attitude is about them being casual and him thinking that we're, like, kind of a little too serious, I don't think that they will, even if we give them the dagger. I think it's in the best interest of our guild, um, to give it just to a Reese. I'd, like... Uh, I'm, it, it's a really hard decision. I might seem like an asshole, but I think it's a really bad decision if I fucking give it to him. Okay. I'm going to pull race down here real quick because I just need to ask him a couple questions. I'll pull it. I'm going to dig up. Yep. Thank you. 
Okay. So after talking to everybody and really deliberating on this, um, I think it's in the best interest that we keep the ro the dagger for our rogue. I'm sorry. I just don't see the pros outweighing the cons here. So if that uh, means that you don't want to run with us anymore, I understand, mm -hmm. but I really would like for you to still run with us. But in this situation, there's just too many cons for me to justify giving this to him. I dude, I I don't know what to say. That's it's honestly ninja. That's all. I mean, there's nothing else to it. We had rules you didn't abide by. It's a really bad look for your guild, and I'm going to tell everybody about and it. And he's absolutely right. I mean, I talked to you about the Soft Loot Council, and I have no. the stream and all of this. No, no, you didn't. I did. I have the, I have the stream up yes, right now, actually. I'll link it in general chat. I, I would love you... to you know, know where you talked about, all right, yeah, where uh, Perdition's blade is, blade is concerned. I didn't, we're but definitely we talked about performance. We did talk about performance. We did, and in the context that I told you, the examples that you gave me and that my officer Acer specifically asked you were, okay, what were the instances of the past? Because right when you said that, both of our ears perked up because we knew that was you know, definitely a cautionary moment. And he actually asked you, okay, what does that mean realistically with examples? And all of the examples that you came up with were things like, oh, a priest who can't dispel, even though we asked him five times to, oh, you know, Baron Geddon, somebody blows up the raid. Like, those were the examples that you gave me, okay? Those have nothing in common with somebody who's undergeared, but is pulling their weight in their weight class, okay? So, but they're not pulling honestly, their weight class, they're just pulling their weight for their gear. No, for it's, his it's, gear, it's, he's doing fine. You can't, you can't say plus one, and then... The, we specifically talked about those scenarios and then because you have a really sweaty guy who you know this game 24 7 and he is very upset because this is his life um you know then you acquiesce to him because he's such an important part of your aid or whatever i get it dude he's a he's a good player and you know sweaty nerd though and he's upset and that's fine but well, I'm not, that I'm was not on trying you. to bring this about. I'm not trying to bring this about emotion. I'm trying to bring it about how the play is. And he played well. He is doing extremely well for his gear. But if any other rogue was doing that well comparably, I would feel the same way. If Dirk mm -hmm. was doing that well, if Ducaz was doing that well, Ducaz was doing that well. And if Ducaz won the role, I would have gave it to him because it would have been super justified. I just want you to know that I guarantee you for a fact. That if Duckas had lost, he wouldn't have thrown a tantrum, and he would have let Liv win. And that's the difference between my guild and yours. Duckas is just as good a player as Reese, but he's a thousand times a better person. Look, I, I don't think this needs to go in the direction this conversation's going. I, I, I'll, I'll, as mediator, yeah. it's just what I feel like. I really do feel like both sides of this argument do have a substantial amount of basis. And I'm going to, I'm willing to go out and say, I do not think that this should be the thing that dissolves this. I mean, this run was as sweet as butter. It's, it's really no reason to think that another Perdition's Blade isn't going to drop. Another eye isn't going to drop. Like we beat the shit out of MC just now. It's totally fine, man. I, I get it. I don't play this to just kill the loot and stuff because that is like against the whole spirit of classic. Like this isn't a hard game and we can find another rag group another time. Like I get that it was a really nice group and I it would definitely be a bummer to lose it. But when you say these are the rules and then you don't follow that, I mean, there's just no coming back from that. And it, it really is a ninja situation. And I have actually heard of situations where if you have a role like that, you can ask Blizzard and, I don't know, maybe they'll ticket it to split. I mean, we are the master looter. The master looter gets to the side at the end of the day. And just because there's a miscommunication doesn't mean, like, that... Yeah, whatever, man. I... Sorry that it went like this. I, I, we, we all yeah, got loot. I, I'm, you, well, we, all, but... we all we all got loot, and this is one item. And I don't want it to hurt the situation between both our guilds. 
But I mean, saying something like that is also very disrespectful when we've been respectful about everything else the whole time. I agree. Like you are clearly somebody who can hear both sides of the argument and I appreciate it. But here's another, you know, way to look at it. Clad to, you know, crushed me in DPS. So why didn't he get the Netherwind pants? He oh, already won a piece of gear. You had a plus one rule, right? But you're also a vital part of the raid as a mage. A rogue, a, a rogue isn't. There's a big difference between you and a rogue. That's how that fits into a plus one statement. Well, it it fits a, it, I mean, it fits into the raid, though. It's, yeah, it's all behind the scenes stuff, not, man. I mean, ro I'm just saying this rogue or not. At the end of the day, each one of us is in here spending $15 to play this game. At least for this raid, Molten Core, I don't feel like we should be doing this to that extremity. If this was Nex Ramus, it's something else. But here, I feel like we should be giving out gear on a fair person-by-person -person basis versus, you know, class basis. I understand that that is not how things would normally but I'm about to fucking die. It's so loosely tuned, it really doesn't make sense to talk about things the way that you guys are talking about them in terms of what will benefit the guild the most, right? Like, you're literally talking about, oh, maybe we finish three huh? minutes well, faster. I mean, that, well, that was his words. I'm just talking about the raid team as a whole to clear content faster. And also based on deserving. But to what end? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I think when we just had our chat down below, I talked the end very clearly. The end is the deserving of how prepared are you coming for the raid. Um, and your guy also wasn't using consumables like he was compared to the other rogues. But I not even that's not even the main point. The point is he just isn't as geared. And I understand, like, you know, I like I heard his side. I understand you. Like, he has a family. He's a little bit older. He can't play as much as somebody else. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think there's any person in this raid group that would say that he pulled his weight compared to the other rogues. Nobody is saying that, and that's the whole point with the whole calculus of if you're going to say it's a plus one system. Like, again, I, it just your explanation does not make actual sense. But I, but like, I clearly told to you, though. Trying to fit the circle I really just want to fucking whisper to you. you does he so know bad, right? in the conversation? But you keep all. saying plus one when I clearly so stated to you, dagger. and this is a world, though, that we would come down here to do loot. And we've been doing this since the start of night. We did this with the very first mage item that dropped. Right, do you actually know what we were talking about with those things? It was, hey, does this guy already have an item? Okay, no, he doesn't. All right, is this like a really big upgrade for him compared to a really minor one for someone else? Like those yeah. are reasonable gentlemen's kind of considerations, right? But when you're talking about an item that is clearly an upgrade for everybody, it's no longer like, oh, is that a three set for this guy versus this for that guy? No, it's like a really good item for everybody. But I, I, I mean, other other things that I looked at, but we didn't talk about was like the spells. When we rolled mage items that were main mage items, all mages had the spells. But if any of the mages had no dispels, I wouldn't have gave it to him. If Clad Two had no dispels, I would not give him those gloves. There is not a chance because he didn't deserve them. He's not doing his job. And a rogue's job is to do as much damage as they can. He was doing as well as he could for his gear, but. That doesn't make it right. I'm very I, I sorry. I agree with that part. It doesn't make it right. That's true. I, I'm I, like I said. I am truly sorry that this situation that we are in, but it hurts just, just more people. More people on our guild and for other guilds if they see that we are going to give items to people that are in mostly greens, even if it, at, it. I'm looking at Shazra, by the way. Maybe Boutron uh, had one dispel or one that, curse. That is true, but that was after he got gear. That he was also gear. the only fight yeah. that he even yeah, that, that, did. Yeah, that, that, that was. I pointed it out. I'm not. That, no, and that, that's true. That, But that was after. That, no, and you pointed yeah. it out. I called him out for it. I even said it in Discord. You, uh, But that was after he got gear. Previous to that, um, he yeah. got a piece of gear off of, I believe it was Gehennis, if I'm correct. He got the ring off of Gehennis. And he had dispels on that boss. Oh. And he was doing DPS. 
So I no double I, standard, right? Well, I can't redact an item from somebody after they already got it and equipped it, can I? No, but you can do right the next time. I can't. And I believe that I currently am doing the best thing I could do for all parties. I can't I'm... say you're in the middle and it sucks for you. I honestly don't envy your position. Um, selfishly, you know, if I'm looking out for my GM or as as a GM for my guild, you probably got to do what you just did, but it's not the right decision. And I think you know that actually deep down. I mean, it's something that I'm going to have to think about for a while because I know that either decision that I made okay. was going to have consequences. Before, so before I, I don't, I don't, I personally don't want to take up any of your more time. If you don't want to speak with me, I have no problem conversating with you further, but I don't want you to have this, you know, anger towards me. I know in this moment you probably do, but I don't want that to happen. So if you know, I, I actually, I have no problem with you. It's, it's mostly a re Okay. The one hey, that hey, I think guys. was putting the pressure yeah. on. That well, that's fair. I mean, I think that he was a bit heavy-handed, and I didn't say anything because I was gonna let them say their piece. If he got malicious at any point, I definitely would have stepped in. But I felt it was just on that line. All right. So, regardless of this situation with this singular piece of loot, I think it's fair to say that on in each one of our guilds. Members did receive items and have progressed. A, a Perdition's Blade should not be the deciding factor of whether or not next week we build a group competent enough to down rag again. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just... The Perdition's Blade should not be the reason that we discontinue progress. We're talking about one sword versus countless amounts of gear for every single one in our guilds. Like... Hey. I, and I agree with you. I agree with you, Oleon. I, it, I don't disagree with you at all. You definitely have reason to feel the way you do. But maybe there's worth in continuing this, you know. Look, well, man, I, I, know, I know where you're coming from. You're fine. Like, they're going to invite you back. And honestly, right, like, they're, it's their strats, their tank. Like, this group is going to one-shot with or without me and my like you guys are gonna be fine. You guys have a really good group. You run things really well. That it's honestly we're gonna lose lose out the most is gonna be me and my guys. But I have to make that choice now because right? Like That's true. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't right. It wasn't just by us. And I, I can't bring my guys back into that because I just couldn't look at them in the eyes and actually, you know, say anything true. Or meaningful to them ever again. They're not going to trust me if I did that. I mean, I think that, I like, as we talked about, I think this is a situation that definitely could have better clarification. And we talked about that clarification in world is here, obviously, now. I mean, it's something that I definitely will have more clarification on going in the future. I mean, with any kind of... Um, any kind of, you know, there's a better word than strife, but any kind of, like, situation that we have like this where we need to learn, you know, that is a very hard one to make, you know, we learn how to do it better next time. And, you know, like I said to you in Zawolo's here, I made the bad, I made the bad assumption or thinking that you would understand in this situation, and you do understand, but you also have a different opinion than me, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I would want to make sure that, you know, for future, you know, groups, if it's you or me or anybody else that we do a group with, that it's clarified how we want to have it done. I have no problem with you and your guys being more casual than us. I just want to see the same commitment levels, and I saw that by almost everybody. Uh, but I think for the protection of all raiders and all guilds, things need to be a little bit more clarified. I... I... I believe, truly, that you guys can run with us again, and I think that we can still have a run between our three groups. Um, you know, I think it's something that maybe you may want to think about, you know, more. Um, and I think also that if everything is more clarified and written down for everybody to see, then there would be no problems, because I feel like this is just mis. This was a 
very bad miscommunication or understanding between us that doesn't need to happen because as Aworldo said, all of our raiders made out like bandits with a lot of loot. All three of our guilds all got a lot of loot. Yeah. Your guild true. your your guild actually got the most loot. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, our rest of the shaman. So listen, Olin, I really don't want anybody here to leave here with some kind of feeling slighted. So let's talk compromise. What what do you feel would make you feel comfortable with this situation because realistically it is true that the other uh, rogue i can't remember his name right now would be able to use Zilf. that zilv or whichever one quality wise should get it what what can we do to uh, to mend this essentially if you I feel mean, like this I, is really sliding I, beyond belief i said my piece right the right answer was to stick by the loot rules that we had set up and to give it to him because it wasn't about who could top parse. It was about who won the role and with a plus one agreement. And it wasn't to the extent where he was failing his role so badly that we like wiped, right? I mean, those were the actual examples given to me of what it would mean to be disqualified from loot. And so it's very disingenuous. It's, it's very shady to say, all right. And I get that, you know, the reason that he had to make that decision is because he's got this sweaty guy who's a really important piece of his DPS and he's pressuring him. And uh, well, I didn't make it. Like, I got to tell you, I did not make it just based on a Reese. I made it based on all rogues and for the integrity of our raids going forward. Because, you know, between all of us here, if I did give it to Zilv, the integrity of the way that I give out loot is also questioned. Obviously, it is question, it, it's question, as you said, between you and your guys, but everybody else would think I'm just going to give, even, even, if I, even if next week we all ran together, there would be a lot of people that have a bad taste in their mouth about me giving that dagger to him. There's more people that would feel some type of way about me giving the dagger to zilv then there would be a reese and that was the one one of the things that i had to think about that's wrong so I, yo fro hear me out i gotta go to sleep soon and i'm done discussing about a fucking dagger because honestly we're gonna be doing this for fucking years any well yeah i mean we're just having a chat now i mean that's all this is uh so if you need to go you can but i don't care whichever i don't care whichever way this fucking dagger goes it's a goddamn dagger all right, man. Good night. Good talking. But I'm going to sleep. Okay. Have a good one, Rune. I'll talk to you, you know, over the next couple of days or Friday. I'll be on tomorrow. How okay. dare he say that about that dagger? So my, my only concern, I guess, at this point is the whole, like, trying to sweep it under the rug kind of deal where it's like, all right, yeah, we've got our differing opinions. Um, so, you know, it, that's all right. As if like there wasn't something that was actually wrong done here, and especially just when you think of like the human difference, right? Like Zliv, man, he like works really hard in real life. He gets his chance to play, like he wins the role. He's super stoked. Just I mean, I mean, imagine if you had that same experience and like Sulfurus was just taken away from you because some guy was like, "Oh, just kidding. Our rules no longer apply. I'm taking it." You know, it's it's kind I, of unfair for you to trivialize that because we did discuss it. It was obvious that there was a miscommunication over what happened, but it's not like we're blatantly outright like uh, ignoring. Uh, also, I'm not trying story. to sweep anything under the rug. If you want to say whatever information you want to say to anybody on the server, I'm fine with that. I've been streaming this whole thing, but yeah. I will let anybody know that they can watch this three hour VOD and hear everything. You know, I'm not disingenuous. I'm not trying to be disingenuous about anything that is said here. Anybody wants to know my opinion, it's open-ended. They will know. But, you know, I, you know, I am just trying to get to a better resolution between all of our guilds because I would like for something to still happen. You know, I, I understand you're a raider and you, uh, like, you know, as you said, you have no problem with me. You know, your thing was more with a Reese, and I could totally get that because, like I said, he was very borderline on his stance. But... I also believe that um, 
you know, it's not about sweeping under the rug. It's about, you know, I'm owning up to what happened. I'm the one that runs this show. You know, me and you and Zawoldo come to terms with what we believe is correct. And I want to make those terms better. If you don't wish to run with us again or believe that you can't, you know, make that decision by next Tuesday, then totally understandable. But, you know, either way, I'm going to work with Zawoldo and whoever else we run to make more clear rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, that'll definitely serve you in the long run. You guys have it all together, minus that part right now. You guys will have good runs in the future. And I'm not a bridge burner, but like I said, I, I can't actually let something like that happen and then tell my guys, oh, it's okay. Like, we're just going to, you know, put that aside and keep going. Because, like I said, I just, they wouldn't take me seriously ever again. They wouldn't trust me. I get that. Understandable. I, yeah. I, don't, dis I don't disagree with that. I'm going to have to have a conversation like that now, too. So I can understand that. I mean, yeah. It sucks, dude. It really sucks for to live more than anybody in this whole situation. I, it does, and I'm sorry mm -hmm. for him. I, I am. Honestly, I mean, it, like, I'm sure kills, there's like, a way to rectify it. I... I, I I mean the only the only thing I would say for him I mean he is gonna be he feels really bad because he didn't get this dagger and obviously that would allow him to go daggers it wouldn't really make him super viable but obviously he would feel good about it he would have it but I believe if he is a member of your guild that you believe is a good player and will be with you for a long time I think that you know him as a older gentleman he could come to terms and realize that his guild made out way more than just one dagger. Yeah, dude, he is super mature and super loyal. And What's the name of the rogue? And that's why it sucks. Because he deserved it more than anybody, honestly. I, I need to go uh, chat chat okay. with my people. Yeah. Um, I'll be back, and uh, I'd like to talk more when I do return. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be around. But you can see, right, how when I describe it, I say he deserves it more than anybody. Because, right, we have different... No, I, I, completely, I completely understand. Yeah, I get that. That's my whole point about the calculus. Like, the calculus that, that is... I feel like I need to give him fucking money or something to make up for this, because this is the kind of bullshit. That I'm kind of pissed off over this whole being entire bad guys here. I'm not saying that. I mean... Well, I, like I said, I think Elder is in a in a middle position that's very unenviable. I I mean I, I will say Reese is a douchebag without it. Oh yeah. You know? I, I, I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna argue There's no I'm, arguing not, that. I, I'm not I'm not gonna argue uh, what he said or how he acted because I mean I wouldn't act like that. I obviously wouldn't act like that. But I mean the only thing out of this whole situation that I mean that felt a little disrespectful is you saying that you would try to go to a GM to get the item to him because at the and, you know, like, I like no bad blood between our guilds, but I know the rules, and I will fight a GM because I'm the master looter. Yeah, that's fine. But I don't want it. I don't want it to come down to that. I, I, I don't because it shouldn't. I would stick up for my guys, and you just stick up for yours, you know. Um. Yeah, though. Uh. I don't know what Zawar I don't know what else Zawaldo wanted to talk about, or if you had anything else that you wanted to say at this time. I think we're good. He uh, he's a good guy, man. I think he was just smoking, and honestly, he wasn't making a lot of sense. I think he that like, uh, he hey, was. Roll off. Yeah, I think he was trying to be a mediator as well, but he doesn't have the tact that maybe I have, and he doesn't have the understanding that you have. He's a new leader, so he's. He's in the he's between where me and you are currently. Yeah, I mean he he seems like a really relaxed guy and stuff, but problem solving I think wasn't there because he's not mentally. All... We would not be in a great situation right now if he was uh, the leader. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, thank you all. I I mean, I thank you and your guild for coming, and I think and I thank you for being very understanding. I hope that maybe we could have another conversation in a couple days.
if anything maybe has changed or would not you know let me know if not it's fine but i i would like for you to stay in our discord at least you i understand if you the rest of you guys may want to leave so we could have still chats and stuff but um yeah i'm very happy that we got the whole raid down tonight and both of our guilds got a lot of loot yeah there, you're right there's a lot to be happy but uh, you know at the end it's just a buzz kill for me man like i don't even want to raid next week so it's going to take me some time to kind of get over it. Understandable. But, yeah, dude, thanks for hearing me out. And I know that, you know, I got a little emotional because it's, I just feel for the guy really bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's, it, it's, it's such a tough situation because, I it's mean, completely I'm, avoidable, I, but I, just, I, I'm, I'm hmm. not a, I'm not the leader of a casual guild. So, I mean, I would feel for, but I understand it as a casual member and the time constraints, I'd feel the same way. I think, you know, the only other thing I would say, though, is also the realization, though, of time. And I think any casual player I, should have a realization of a game like Classic WoW, where, you know, the people that play more will always be more ahead. And I'm not saying that is due to sweatiness or any emotional stuff or, you know, uh, predispositions out about a player or how they may be. That's just the truth of the game. You know, if somebody, you know, he, he uh, you know, he could work a job, but he also has kids. So it's like, you know, everybody has to work or make money somehow. But, you know, it was also his choice to have a family. So, you know, he gets to play the game less because of that. But I respect yeah. that he has that family, though. But, you know, that's, brother. yeah. Yeah. That's the um, reason and, why I'm able to talk, you know, kind of from his perspective. Yeah. And it just kind of sucks to, right? Because Arise doesn't strike me as somebody who probably even has a girlfriend, right? So somebody who lives in this game, and just the way he talked was so disrespectful and just rude, man. He's a huge dude. Yeah, I mean, there was really no tact behind his words, I would agree. I think that he made some good points, but his... The way that he said what he wanted to say was not, you know, it, it was very heavy-handed. So, yeah. I mean, we've got good players too, right? Like, I'd put Duckas against him any day. But Duckas is a guy that's always going to do the right thing. He's going to be respectful and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, you just might want to look out for him, I guess. And maybe even give him a little reminder that he can't really talk to people like that because it's making a bad impression yeah i mean i'll definitely have a conversation with him you know myself all right man well i'm gonna go talk with my guys and try to i don't know like stab their wood yeah okay well have a good night man hope to talk to you again all righty Oh, that was boy. a painful ass band aid. Oh man. Okay, well, you know, I'm sure we're all fine with this, but uh, obviously we may have to deal with whatever backlash comes yeah. from this. So just be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. I I think it's better though for the longevity of our guild. I mean, you miss out on some members, but. Mm -hmm. And we know Alec will continue to show up. And unless he, he... He's the same situation as me. Unless he doesn't have internet, fucking he's gonna be at raid every time. Did you uh, already give it to him? I did. Okay. Like, when I said I was giving it to him, I traded it to him. Okay. Oh. I feel half bad. I do. I feel bad for them. I don't feel bad. Like... I... I hate the situ... Yeah, I feel yeah, the, like... The situation yeah. sucks. It's like it's like Olin said himself, like, he doesn't envy the situation that I'm in, and I don't think anybody does, but at the end of the day, it's like... That's why I also don't mind being the guild master because I'll make the decision. I'll I'll carry it. I mean, obviously our guild has to carry this decision, 
But I mean, if anybody ever says anything to me about it, I'll tell them clear as rain that this is what happened. This is what was stated. Mm -hmm. I And I think that most other guilds on the server that are not casual guilds would take it as would take it as like I think more people on the server would actually side with us than them. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure I, it's I happened think, to more guilds than people we think. Would, I don't think people would like actually look into it that much to care. They're gonna hear that we ninja something, and then like not even really. They're not nobody. No, to be honest, nobody's gonna look at the. Like what I give an example for is I don't know if you watched the dueling tournament. Uh, somebody said these two guys were cheating when they weren't, and now like they they had to stop streaming on Twitch because they were just getting flamed left and left and right. Even though when you look at it, they clearly weren't, but because people don't do the research, so yeah, no, true. I mean, that happens so much. Taste in a lot of people's mouth. Yeah, but at the same time, I do know of people who prefer guilds that ninja for their guild because it just means that the loot is staying in the guild. I it's mean, I would, I would never, active, yeah. But... I mean, I would never tell anybody to ninja for our guild, like, uh, like in a serious way. I mean, it, like, I, I guess it depends on like what it is. I mean, like I said, I felt justified or vindicated due to the situation, due to the conversation we had yesterday. Like, Soul, you weren't there, but I have it on my stream from yesterday. I said to him that we would be doing a soft loot council. We'll go down, talk loot, and we'll give what? loot up based on performance. They did ask for some examples, but you know, it's like I just said before. Another I mean, example you, that we didn't talk about was the spells. This specific situation, either. I think this is. I think this is the only situation that we're gonna have to deal with the molten core. So you know, like, you know, the way that I see bad things that happen is that it sucks that bad things happen, but we move forward and we get stronger because we had to deal with this shitty situation. Yeah. The the rogue also said that he felt a little better when um found out that it was purely just because it's the conversation played. over. It is done. Uh, well. One with their guild, yes. Uh, the conversation with their guild, yeah. We're just talking in general now about it. Okay. I mean, the situation shouldn't happen again, too, because like next time we're going to be sh we're, yeah. We're now, be now sure we'll be able to better communicate it to the guilds. Too. Yeah, this this will never happen again because it'll be very clear now. It'll be more clear on what we want, and you know there'll be nothing up to interpretation. Like this is the only situation where this could ever happen. Like this can't happen with mats. This can't happen with boes. Everything else is very clear. This is the only situation that it can happen in. Unless there's something that I'm missing, but I don't believe so. Is there anything else that you think that we may have a problem with, Sol? Well, I, I think we just need to tack on the phrase... And if you like, like, you know, you just have, uh, you're just completely unprepared gear wise too, you know, like, pack that on top. Spec. Yeah, I agree. That 100%, because that's another thing, too, that I wanted to go forward. Like, going forward with our soft loot council, uh, I think that the role is arbitrary until we make a decision on LC. I think that the role only matters once we make the decision if we want to say, okay, if we make the decision like, okay, Sol and Cheetah, we believe that they're equal, so then the role counts. 
but until we make the decision, the role doesn't matter. Yeah, so then yeah, that would be even better actually because then they don't then they don't feel a type of way. Yeah, there there was a bit of um, uh, uh, a bit of vagueness from the, yeah. the rolling on their side and us talking in the chat. Uh, the other thing with Frederick in the eye too, I didn't say anything about loot at the start because, um, like obviously until this point, like their guild didn't feel Olean's guild didn't feel some type of way, but as far as the Worldo, um, the Worldo's guild is brand new, but um, Frederick said he was like obviously Frederick got emotional in the moment because he obviously really wanted the staff mm -hmm. but Frederick is with Zawaldo's camp so obviously Frederick you know I had a chat with Frederick and he's like you know like obviously like we kind of had a heart to heart based on being hybrid specs but you know like I as I told him it's like you know I like as I said I mean me personally I don't think I'd ever give that to a fucking shadow priest over a healer unless the shadow priest had merit like if the Shadow Priest showed up to raid for two months, and then we have some fucking priest that just showed up for, like, two weeks, that Shadow Priest is gonna get it. But, you know, that would be, like, you know, like, that would be something I would definitely talk about with other leaders, but, you know, if it just our guild, that's how I would feel. Or even if it was a pug. Like, if we had a pug raid, and we had a, and we have a fuck like, if we had a guild priest that was here for, like, a month, and then we have a random Shadow Priest... Unless, like, our guild priest is playing, like, dog shit, I'm gonna give it to that shadow priest, probably. As long as he played well, you know? Yeah, and I think that's another thing, too, also with other guilds that's kind of hard, is, like, you know, when I asked Zawardo or I asked uh, Oleon about if their people were, you know, main, like, they were saying main, but I know that Oleon, for example, his group isn't raiding yet, so main probably just means anybody that's actually coming, and Zawardo, for him, he definitely doesn't have raiders yet either, so main for him also is just whoever is also showing up. He also had a piss poor comparison saying that he was also in greens, considering four of them were actually pre raid best in slot. Yeah, that's also another th Yeah, that's that's a lot different too, because greens, uh, like, but the thing is, is like, that's that also like actually, yeah, that, that, that's also, that's yeah, that's also really, that's, yeah, he also made a really bad example considering that he as a, like, I know he's not that casual. Like, he talked about how his guild was going to be more serious going into Phase 2. So there's no fucking way that he actually believes that... He might believe his guild's casual, but I know he's not that casual. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, in my opinion, like, we're not going to progress our guild nearly as fast if we're constantly thinking about other people's guilds. Take that as being mean or whatever, but, like... No, I agree. I mean, I, I personally don't give a fuck about any other guild. I like, mean, I, I, I'm willing I, to bite the fucking bullet. Of I mean, I would insulted and blacklisted. Yeah, I mean, like the, the only the only reason that we have allies at the moment is because they're nice to have. But I want yeah, our guild, guild. Yeah, I want our guild to be like Storm. I want us to be like fuck every other guild. They can go eat their own dick. I don't. I don't want us to have to depend on anybody else. I'm just trying to be as diplomatic as I can right now, just because it is the best thing for us. Just sucks that it happened. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I got messaged. Funny enough, I also got messaged by two of Oleon's people that are interested in joining us. One of their the the other rogue that was in their group believed that Arise should have gotten the dagger. Who was it? Uh, our, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. it was Angry Monkey. Oh. I mean, for me, it was straight up like that rogue did not, it would not have benefited their guild nearly as much as they it's thought still it would. Still alive, either. so? No, like, not I even would have rather a rather it to a, 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 a well geared sword rogue. It yeah. Just instead. It's just the fact that that like regardless. On your stream, nice I can't hear it when is, you speak. He I'm doesn't have the time to commit to like, his character, let that, alone. Yeah, that part. like that that guy. No matter how bad he could actually, that guy could be as good as a Reese, but he'll never be actually as good as a Reese because he doesn't have oh, the time to play. Right. Classic is about time. Like yeah, it's a push stop function. He can never the ever voice. dream. Of There's catching voice, up to um, Alec because it's not possible. Or some bullshit, but you can just map it at the same time. Maybe in phase one, but he'll never catch up to Alec in phase two, three, four, five, or six. It just won't happen. Yep. Yeah. When you're healing done, the eleventh one down. Yeah, and I mean, I definitely mean? will give it to him. Like, you know, I'm I'm well aware that. Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, it's funny. It's funny that you say that because, like, I have had like the existential crisis in my head about Korhan Tooth if it drops because, like, you know, I I always keep thinking about it in my head like, man, if that drops, like, my gut reaction would be like, give it to Jamon because it's like best for threat per second. But then at the same time, I know we have two dagger rogues, so it's like, fuck. I don't even know how I got the first one of that. That really slipped through the cracks. I think you just said dagger rogues roll, like when it dropped with like out yeah, well, that, like, conversation well, that, or that, something. Well, well, that, well, that's what I I did that because the reason I did that is because Jamon got that claw, so oh, I yeah, knew yeah. he, so I knew oh. Jamon was already in a decent position. If Jamon didn't have that claw, then it probably would have went to Jamon. Yeah, that makes sense.
Yeah, and then the dagger gloves, right? Yeah, that was also the thing that I hated about that conversation was trying to explain to them about specs because it's like, you know, it's like we're like the, even the notion that we have to explain to a fucking group of casuals how fucking specs work is like also just makes it like they should not get this item even more. Yeah. The thing, the thing, the only thing that I, the only, like, the only thing that made me a little mad, like, I, I even told Olin, is... Don't disrespect me, because I haven't been disrespectful to you this whole time. You really don't want to start a war with my guild. You really don't. That's the last thing you want to do. I'll be diplomatic up until you start a war with us. He doesn't understand how many fucking neats we have in this guild that will just level up Alliance characters just to fuck them. Can we do that out on the server? You can make second accounts. Yes, you can. Oh. That's how. That's how. That that's how Storm gets through the loophole. So, uh, with Storm, uh, so Storm does have alliances with some of the alliance guilds, and obviously that's bannable. But something that Storm realized that they could do is that they have second accounts to have alliance characters leveled up. So that gets through the loophole because you're not making. There's no collusion with actual Alliance players, since it's your own account. So that gets to the loophole of collusion with Alliance, because any cross-faction collusion is bannable. But there's no collusion. Dirk, 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 dirk. I'd I'd love to I'd love to give it to Dole, but yeah, like realistically, he's probably not. I mean, but Dole's yeah, also super I... cool. Like Dole was even like Dole Dole like obviously Dole was sad that he didn't get the helmet, but Dole's such a cool guy that he was happy that it just went to a rogue in the guild. Dole seems cool as fuck, uh, but like I need to I need to try and convince him to respect for raids too, like when he's actually able to show up. That's probably a big Well, I think point. the problem is I don't think he has as much gold as, like, you do to oh, respect, though. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, he is... I mean, the... I mean, bottom line, I guess he should just, like, stay not that spec. Like, stay in a raid spec. If, yeah, I, I think right. he... I think he should stay... I think for him that it'd probably be better for him to stay in a raid spec until Phase 2. Because, like, obviously he's in that spec because he wants to PvP. But, um... I mean, until phase two, I would stay in just a regular dagger spec because you can still fuck people up at, you know, even yeah. as a PvE spec. No, I, <laughs> I got no problem with that. He's, yeah, he's just not able to be here. It's so sad because, like, he's, he's like, it seems like he's pretty good. Like, I mean, I don't know. He is. Dole is really good. Dole's one of the best rogues I've ever played with. I, I mean, you know him a little bit before me. Open my boxes. Open. Yeah. 
see if I got. I think our, like our biggest problem is that like, I mean, did you like, I mean, all, I think every rogue in the group rolled on perk blade, which like makes sense. Like, like he said, whichever like weapon. Oh, yeah. I, I, I said it earlier, but you weren't in your pro. I, we, don't we typically like ask uh, like rogues and stuff and like warriors if they're like. Yeah. Uh, and I, and that was something that I, uh, that was something that went over my head at the time when I was talking to the guild leaders. Um, it was about like rogues and warriors being one hand or two hand or dagger and s dagger or sword, um, which is something that I'll definitely be mentioning going forward as well. That's on the list. Yeah, if you get a raid weapon, like you, it is just like that's the spec you should probably be, right? Like, I mean, that's. If if you're in a guild, though, like, I mean, if you're committed to a guild, like, I mean, I, I can understand not, like, especially the people in, that have just joined us this week, like, not being committed to the guild or whatever, but, like, if you're committed to a guild, you need to, like, just, like, actually lay something out, like, at this, and, like, that that is our problem, is that, like, I, I, I exclusively picked Dagger Rogue, like, even knowing that Sword Rogue is marginally better. Uh, because we had Tease and Slick uh, back like then, and then like Raves won Brutality Blade and joined, and I was like, okay, sick. Now we've got Dole, Dirk, and fucking me like uh, as Dagger, and we've got Tease, Raves, and fucking uh, Slick as Sword, and it was just a good balance. And then like, well, Spur happened. I, yeah, I don't. Well, yeah, like, so, yeah, fucking Tease and Jack are just autists, because, like, yeah, I don't even want to get into that, they're just fucking dumb. Uh, and then Raves, Raves is kind of dumb, too, but I understand he wanted to play with his friends. I get it. Well, this, also, the situation with him and his friends are kind of really dumb, too, because, like, they want to raid, they want to raid AQ and Nax, but they want to be in a DKP guild. Like, dog. There's gonna be no like, oh my god, I, I really hate all these fucking retards that think there's gonna be any DKP guild in Naxxramas. Like they're actually autistic. That's not a bad question that Dirk just asked. He said, uh, "Can I ask when promotions are going?" Oh, we need to do those. Yes. Yeah. And I would definitely vote for <laughs> if if Dirk isn't raider yet. I would definitely vote for Dirk becoming raider. He's been very consistent and very good. At bringing consumables and whatnot. You, you guys having some like combo that I, you don't want me around for? No, we're like just that? chilling. Alright. I wanted to ask, uh, you guys do world PvP? And if so, what would you guys have in mind? Uh, we do. Um... We start wars. Yeah, I mean, we, we've started <laughs> wars. Like, every alliance guild on the fucking server hates us. Like, oh, yeah? actually. Perfect. Yeah, like, so in the Herod Discord, for example, we started one random night. We just killed some <laughs> fucking random fucking so guy. Good, and we killed some random fucking guy, but we camped him, like, three times. And oh, his no. guildmate got pissed about the comment that I made. And then 